Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. The weather is calming down later on tonight across our area. Matter of fact, we are looking at uh, pretty quiet weather with some high pressure actually building in from the north. It's not going to be a big area of high pressure, but it's enough to kind of clear out the skies just a little bit. Where's the watch? Down to the south of us. It's down around the Austin area. You can see that severe thunderstorm watch still in effect here until midnight tonight. Showers and thunderstorms, they were out there. We had some move through early this evening. A little bit rougher down in Bell County and over toward Milam County, but most that activity weakened in a hurry as it tracked off to the south and east. And you can see those showers and those isolated storms that move through the Temple area down towards Salado, uh, eventually over toward Cameron, and now it's over toward the Brazos Valley. Again, nothing severe. But some heavier rainfall still just to the south right now of College Station. And we're still seeing some moderate rainfall around uh, Bryan and College Station. And that kind of tails back toward the Bastrop area. But back here, though, what we were talking uh, about late this afternoon, or at least early this afternoon through the late afternoon hours, was these uh, thunderstorms that were dropping some large hail. Now, hail was ranging anywhere from about three quarters of an inch to two inches in diameter, especially over toward the Marlin area. And every one of these little dots you see here and there, those are all hail reports that we got in here from the uh, Storm Prediction Center. So quite a bit of hail, especially in parts of McLennan County. You can see right on the border there of Bosque County up toward Hill. As you get over toward Coriel County, we had some down there. And again, some other areas down toward College Station, as you can see in Brazos County down there, uh, quite a bit in the Way of some hail reports. There is that stationary front kind of hanging around, but we've got that upper level low. It's teaming up at the surface low, and it's been wrapping everything counterclockwise down the pike and down our region. So that's why our showers and storms today were moving from the northwest down to the southeast on that uh, area low pressure, wrapping everything back around. But you can tell where the showers and storms are tonight. They're hanging out right along the stationary front from San Antonio over toward the Houston area. Temperature wise, 70 degrees at this hour here in Waco. It's 71 in Mahia. Current temperature in Temple's at 68, 68 in Killeen. And Lampasas checks in right at 67 degrees. So here's the forecast. As we go throughout the evening, there's that front. It's actually going to work its way back up to the north. So I think we'll see partly to at times mostly cloudy skies overnight. And that's how we're going to start the day tomorrow. You know, this morning we were in the upper 50s. Tomorrow we're going to be in the lower 60s. We've got that moisture in the air so the air doesn't cool off as fast. And uh, as we go throughout the day, a mix of sun and clouds, temperatures very close to 80 degrees or so by lunch. And by the afternoon, could spark off an isolated shower. There could be an isolated thunderstorm, too. It's very hit and miss with the heat of the day, but our chances will be with us uh, as we hit the afternoon. And by Thursday night, we start to quiet it down here. There's a weak frontal system that will try to move through, and that will be uh, starting on Friday. And throughout the day on Friday, I expect partly to mostly sunny skies and highs on Friday climbing into the mid to upper 80s. So a pretty nice way to end the work week here with these temperatures actually running where they should be. Tonight, though, partly to mostly cloudy skies. There's that 50-50 chance down in the Brazos Valley. 62 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, partly sunny skies. That means more clouds than sunshine. A 30% chance of a passing shower or storm in the afternoon. But I think most of us will miss out on that. 85 degrees will be the high. And as we look ahead, look at the high-pressure dome build. Sunshine, quiet weather, and right into the weekend, Good timing on this one, right? The last uh, weekend, for the most part, here in May, we're looking at temperatures around 88 degrees on Saturday, 89 on Sunday. Next week, we're talking readings climbing into the low 90s. No rain in the forecast right now, so we're going to keep it high and dry with that sunshine. And down toward Bryan and College Station, again, a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow, slight chance of rain. Then we start to see high pressure build in, big ridge, and that means temperatures in the 90s. 90 degrees on Saturday, 90 on Sunday with mostly sunny skies, and that type of weather continues next week. And of course, next week, Adam, is the beginning of June already.